Fashionista, dancer, everything. Um, Aku, thank you for coming today and thank joining you us. Um, I, we would love to, to start knowing where you're from. I'm from Senegal. Nice. Senegal is located in the west of Africa. Yes. So when did you when did you come to Boston? I oh. came to Boston first. Actually, I came first in New York. I landed in New York, and then um, a friend of mine from um, Springside School came and picked me up from there. I went to Philadelphia, and I ended up to Boston. <laughs> <laughs> and um, you know, not to say, but which city, which city has your heart? Come <laughs> well. Right now it's Let's Boston. Sure let's say, let's say Boston have my heart. Uh, <laughs> minus the cold. <laughs> minus the cold. Yes. Oh man. Yes. So, um, pretty much, how how did you get in into your career as a model? Um, so I started here a year ago. A year ago. Um, mm -hmm. But I used to do modeling as not as active as I'm right now when I was in Senegal, mm -hmm. um, because culturally sometimes it's hard to manage like doing modeling and culturally when your your family are a little bit conservative about it. Yes. Um, but um, starting like it's been a year in Boston that I really, really, really enjoying like taking my career to the next level, like really doing it professionally. And what made you want to take it to the next level? Was it just the the love and support you were getting? Or was it the jobs, the people you were connecting with, the photographers? Like mm -hmm. what made you become more and more serious so first it's the passion of it the passion i yes, have a passion for it i love it and also having people coming into me and keep putting the words out there for me and keep saying oh you should do it you're great at it you should do it you're great at it and i said to myself well okay so let me just take it to the next level and right. push myself um, to make my name Aku, like Aku. known everywhere. <laughs> so um, that's what brought me to this so level. So what have you been doing to put your name out there? Like, I know, you know, we definitely want to know. I mean, we don't have to know all the little secrets, but we definitely <laughs> want to know, like, you know, how you move in, in terms of um, preparing for your your gigs for your show for your runway because yes. I've seen that you've done runway as well um, yes well and I would love to hear about that yeah so um I did a lot of collaboration first mm -hmm. of all because um when you're doing this job is not that you have to go and just say oh I do this so people have to see in their own eyes what you're capable of mm -hmm. um but first I did a lot of collaboration with designers and photographers Yes. And then sometimes they will come up with a concept and tell me, Aku, this is the concept that we have and we think that you will look great at it. So what do you think? I was like, okay, yeah, I can do that. And they will tell me, this is the kind of outfit they were looking for. Well, I would go and buy the outfit and invest on it. Yeah. Or they will tell me, the makeup artist will tell me, this makeup will look good on you. Yeah. And I will go and buy the makeup and invest on it and just do the shoot. And then also the fact that when I post the pictures, how my friends reacted to it, mm -hmm. make me say, okay, then I have more to give. Like, mm -hmm. this, is, this is really fun. Like, this is really yeah. what I like to do. And, you know, that gives me more and more, more like, motivation. More motivation. Too. And people get, you know, I get contact on Facebook by photographers, designers, and tell them, okay, we want yes. your look, you know, <laughs> so... And that must give you like a really good feeling and just want to just push forward because absolutely. of the responses that you get. The yes, absolutely. Wonderful get. responses from friends and families and even photographers. They will mm -hmm. take pictures and like, oh, that's so easy. Just stay there. Don't, don't just, move. Don't just <laughs> like we can do a shoot like in two hours and we're mm -hmm. done. That's a wrap. They get the shot. Well, that was good. I'm and like, it was, okay. it, was it like that the whole time? Like where... In the beginning, was it a little bit more difficult because you were just getting your feet wet and kind um, of exploring that type, that industry? Because I know you've been in other artistic it, industries. Yeah, so when I first started, like, actually, when I was in Senegal, mm -hmm. it's different, the type of fashion that they have yeah. from here. So I have to, like, do 
That's why when I first came here, I didn't go jump into it right away. Yeah. So I waited and waited and looked and see, you know, what the market is in demand. So what homework. yeah, I did my homework. Yeah, <laughs> so what good. is what they're looking for? What the kind of look that is not like there's certain look that you can see everywhere mm -hmm. in the fashion. Like mm -hmm. there's certain look that is everybody has it, yeah. but there's a one look that one person will have, and that's what make the difference between the others. So I did my homework and I find this look and like I used to have hair. It's like mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> I haven't seen like yeah, there's some people have like short hair, yeah. inches, two inches, but not that as bold I am right now. So yeah. So what made you make that decision actually? Did you so did you have um, um did you just change your look or did you have hair all the time or what like did did you change your look when you were done with your research and was like, all right, I'm gonna get to get into this. Um, actually, um, I used to do wigs, weave, <laughs> um, we, um, twist it and stuff like that. Um, but I used to also use a lot of chemical in my hair, yeah. which is like perm. Mm -hmm. And then um, my hair started shredding off a little bit, so mm -hmm. I decided, okay, let me just go natural and sh and you know cut it and then let it grow back again. And then um, while doing that, I found out, okay, so I think this look will make it work. Yeah. <laughs> and then I was like, it? okay, let me keep that. <laughs> this, yeah. Everybody likes it, and I love it. Yeah. And it's stress-free. You save time, you save money. Yeah. You know, how much money I wish to spend <laughs> just getting hair done, so. <laughs> so what was uh, your, your, one of your best experience throughout this year, uh, the year that you started? Well, I know there's so many, but they one are that just so inspired many. you, um, maybe in a different way than others. Well, they are okay. So, I did Fashion Week, Boston Fashion Week. I did um, New York oh, Fashion nice. Week, but last year, Boston Fashion Week really, really, you know, pushed me to the to where am I right I've now? I've never been to Boston Fashion yes, Week. Yes, you it? have to. It was amazing and. Um, you know, I work with almost all the designers that were there on the show. And then anytime I step out on the runway, like, people would be screaming. I'm like, okay. So when I do runway, I don't usually smile. But I'm, like, trying to crack a smile, and I don't want to smile. So you yeah. see the pictures, like, my smile is kind of crooked a little bit. Because, you know, I see people who are, like, enjoying me on the runway. Mm -hmm. So, and from that, after the show, everybody come to me, oh my God, we, you know, we love your look, we love this. And then from there, I got so many gigs from that. Was that um, when you were wearing um, the white outfits? I think in um, the uh, beginning of the show, we showed actually Aku and a lot of pictures of her runway or um, one of her, you know, uh, shows, um, gigs, you name it. Um, so yes. how did that like was that the Boston Fashion Week? Yes. Oh my that was the Boston so Fashion Week. So how so <laughs> were you picked by a designer or how did that yes. okay. so some of the designers um I that was, was picked beautiful. By, yes. But um, everything looks so elegant and it was just different. Yeah, and then also the the hardest part is like mm -hmm. some designers wanted me to work with them but I was already cast okay. with other show that you know so I wouldn't be able to... so I had to like, you know, go first come first serve. Those who first contacted me mm -hmm. before, um, but I Damn, I did. That's hard. I was that's I was doing show them. for the whole week, <laughs> so it was <laughs> it was tiring, but I was enjoying it because it's it's what I wanted mm -hmm. to be busy. Mm -hmm. It's it takes a lot of energy to tell yeah. you the truth. It does take a lot of energy to move from one spot on another spot. Mm -hmm. um, especially like I don't drive, so it's I have to commit myself. I have Claire. Mm -hmm. um, bring me everywhere that mm -hmm. I have to go, you know, so, but it was worth it. It was absolutely well, worth, worth it. Worth it, because at the end of the day, yes. you're doing what you love, you're collaborating, and you're putting yourself out there, because ultimately, like, yeah. you know, I, like, that's my next question. What's your goal for this? So, um, my goal is, um, I have a lot of goals. <laughs> I, <laughs> so well, I, don't I know guess which one. like, I guess, so, like, Okay, goal, I'm like, doing right. my goal right now, which is um, I'm getting to the point that when you say Aku, they will know who I am. Yeah. Like, they know Aku, who is Aku, and um, um, who is she, where she come from, and stuff like that. And I put my um, footprints on what I'm doing, mm -hmm. uh, which is high quality. 
um, mm -hmm. and then my next goal is to um, pe make people know that Boston has so many talent that yeah. we need to use and we need to work with, you know, so um, we have great things ahead, um, but my goals, I think I'm leaving my goals right now. <laughs> I'm leaving <laughs> them. But there's more is to go international, which is that's mm -hmm. the next step because mm -hmm. we have so much opportunity coming yes. in on 2017. Um, yes. So you have, I can you tell us a little bit about the yeah. opportunities. I like I, wanna... I can't tell that much about it right now, you okay, know. Okay. But you know, look out for okay. 2017 because it's gonna be really, really. You good. hear that? Look out! Yeah, um, look out for it. <laughs> I I know. I I, I can tell because the people that you worked in the in you can obviously tell by the quality of the work yes. and how you've networked throughout the city because not only you're a model but you're also a dancer as well yes. right yes hi my dance peep i know i haven't been there for a while <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i i used to dance um uh, well i don't want to say i used to dance because i really still want to go dance again mm -hmm. but it's just uh, you know the fashion is mm -hmm. taking over mm -hmm. but yeah i dance salsa bachata or you know latin dances yes. and also by my africanity i'm from africa so i dance also folkloric so stuff like that oh, um nice. so it's it's not only about the runway so so do you think you'll go back to dancing or do you think that you just yes, want to focus I'll, on your I mean, I would runway, definitely, your shows? <laughs> I will definitely go back to dancing, but not as 100% hours. Yeah. Because um, That's how I have like, to balance, yeah. Mm -hmm. I have to balance same because I was 100% like dancing all the time, dancing, dancing and yeah. teaching classes. But did, did you also tell people like when you were dancing, like about your other passion about, well, they, because I'm pretty no, sure, I no, I did not. <laughs> Well, they, they had a little, they were a little bit suspicious about it. They would tell me, oh, you're a model. I was like, yeah, kind of, you know, <laughs> just a little and now, bit. And now, yeah. like, they can see it through Facebook and pictures and, and, and yeah. stuff like that. Yes. And so, so what, so what do you have next for us? Like, next for Boston? I know, I, I seen a little, uh, I heard a little birdie telling me the catwalk. Uh, <laughs> yes. Fundraiser. Absolutely. Absolutely. What's going on? I mean, we, we, you're trying to get Boston connected and I definitely agree and I feel you, I mean, I feel you on that. You yeah. know, there's a lot of things that um, we're missing, but I think it comes back to, getting together as a community mm -hmm. and kind of um, using, not using each other, but like, I, I'm a, you know, I'm a cameraman, I'm mm -hmm. a dancer, mm -hmm. I'm a model. Um, yeah. I have 10 models, 10 dancers. All right, let's put a big production. Let's Absolutely. do something with it. Absolutely. And I think that that sometimes Boston um, maybe overlooks that and it's kind of like, no, I just want to work on myself. And that's good too. That's probably a goal. Mm -hmm. But I mean, what events and what stuff do you have coming up then? Um, so I have coming up... Um, the catwalk here. Yeah. So what is about behind this idea is we are not only for runway. So mm -hmm. we, we do charity sales. So usually um, all the time on my birthday, I just, you know, rent a hall and invite people and, you know, we have fun, we drink, and then after everybody goes home. <laughs> but this time, like, um, uh, I'm going back to Senegal to visit my parents. Mm -hmm. And then they always been that orphanage that run by nuns and they always, you know, struggle financially to meet both hands. Mm -hmm. And I always wanted to do something for them, but I never had that opportunity that I am right now to do so. Yeah. And um, the network that you Yeah, built, and the network it's that we have right now. Yeah, yeah incredible. Absolutely. So I And the photographers. I mean I recently not to cut you off, but I recently seen yeah. you work with um I think D Ir D, D Irvin. Yes. <laughs> Shout out to the Irving. The Irving, hello, ciao. <laughs> um, he, yeah, amazing. Yes. Um, and just not only him, just uh, a, a yeah, part of the, like way, when I seen the picture, them, the like last Stanley, photo shoot. Yeah, I'm not awesome. sure. Was that the last photo shoot? Which one? Um, um, I did the that. Warrior. Yes, the Warrior that. one. That's the Irving with I am Creole a designer. Yeah, oh, that wow. was them. Yeah, absolutely. and are you dressed by anyone today? Well, no, today I'm just by me. By Aku. <laughs> by Aku. <laughs> so, um, so that's what um, the catwalk is for um, for that code. Yeah. So we we want to show that we care is not only like being pretty on the runway or you know have the body for it. Yeah. It's also we have to give the example for other people to follow the footstep that we're doing. So I'm doing this fundraiser for them like. Uh, 
uh, it's funny that as you grow, grow older, you realize that there's little things that you used to do that you are not, you know, interested on it, like partying or, mm -hmm. you know, how things, yeah, you can get together, but now there's more important things that are out there. Like mm -hmm. if you get to a certain point of your life that you sit down and think, okay, I think with what I have, I can help other people, yeah. then you should do it. Yeah. And that's exactly what the cat work care is for, um, it's going to be a fundraiser, and I have all the designers. Um, they are part of it. They're doing nice. it. So what What are some designers that can we know? Oh, yes, okay. we have um, Tanya from Couple Therapy Boutique, and nice. we have uh, Unique Top from Fly Girls. We have um, Connie Defori. Um, we have um, um, Kiefa from um, uh, Shefa to Falana, and we have also, um, you know, I, I'm forgetting about other people, but yeah. we have all those designers, they're going to be part of it. And we have eight designers. In Double Model, we have 10 models. Oh, wow. They all volunteer oh. to do this, this show with me, oh, and I'm very thankful that they reach out. And when I put the post out there, and they were all like, okay, Aku, we want to do it for free. It's like, you know, this is a good cause to do. And that's what I'm it's talking connecting. about. Like, it's connecting with people. And those models, I do run away with them on the same mm -hmm. way that we do. It's not that yeah. I'm better than them, yeah. but it's just we come as a community to do something together. Together to do so it was and... it was something really amazing. And all this profit is going to go to the, they call it Les Popinières de Dakar because we speak French too. It's like a nursery. Say that again. Les Popinières. Oh, yes. <laughs> so is um is a nursing like a nursery yeah. house for um for, for, for babies, babies, mostly babies, mm -hmm. um, because in Senegal sometimes people um, culturally it's hard to be a single mom. So mm -hmm. sometimes it's they can afford to take care of the kids, so mm -hmm. they just drop it to the orphanage, and the nuns have to take care of it and and you know run the whole the whole um, orphanage with okay. the kids. And then sometimes they place, place them for adoption and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work and then they have to feed those kids. Yes, so that's, that's all of... this um, for my birthday is going to. Oh, so that's my gift to the kids. That's, <laughs> that's what I'm doing. That's awesome. <laughs> yes. And you're doing it and what's awesome about it is that you're using what you love, your passion. Exactly, absolutely. And you're, you obviously have a lot of passion going forward with this, but you're using uh, you know, other people that are involved in the artwork, just mm -hmm. uh, artistry, to come together and do something and give back. And that's that's great. Yeah. So how how are you like getting all of these artists and all these designers together? Like how has been the process like how long did you take to organize this? Well, it um, it didn't took me that long to do so mm -hmm. because they all, you know, all the designer that I could connect it with, I worked with them. Yeah. So, and I've been telling them, I'm thinking about this idea and I want it. And they're like, oh yeah, let me know whenever you're ready. Yeah. And then I, you know, I, each one of them, I contacted them. They were like, yeah, we want to be part of it. Yeah. And then that's how, you know, I, I get it ready and I tell them, okay. And the location I'm going to be having it yeah, is, it um, the like is, it a, is uh, the restaurant something nice is in six, um, five, six, one Maghreb Highway is a Caribbean restaurant. And I, when I went to her and talked to her also, she was like, that's perfect. You know, you can come nice. here, um, you know, we can make it happen. It's also and, you know, business, yeah, you know, exactly. So it, I was really happy that things, you know, uh, is going well. And, and, you know, I have even designers and coming from Connecticut oh, to wow. come to the show, like Madison eyelashes is coming also from Connecticut to here. Oh. And there's a uh, Shanta uh, is coming also. She's, she, she has like vintage um, stores mm -hmm. and online yeah. boutique. She's coming also to the to the fundraiser. So, it's it's now not even Boston, but it's like even outside Boston. Outside you know, Boston to come feel and the support. support to come and yeah. support. So I'm really grateful and thankful for, um, you know, all this help that's coming in on board for this show. And mm -hmm. I hope that everybody will have fun at the time. You know, um, I'm really looking forward to it. Really. So this is the whole night consist of runway. Yes, it's gonna be runway like, entertainment. We have you know it's a full dinner. Like and we're not gonna be eating. There will be like a, a full, full on party, like guys. Full, full, on party. <laughs> full on party. Not this like little party over there. Exactly. Um, <laughs> exactly. So there's yeah. a full menu dinner, self service. Um, you know we have DJ entertainment, and I'm trying to get more artists if they can come and perform. 
You yeah. Know, some dancers. Guys, do you um, hear that? Uh, yeah. Listen up. Yeah, exactly. Artists is for a good cause. It's <laughs> coming good cause. together. And you, you network because you're doing yeah. this charity. But uh, photographers, videographers, uh, you know, musicians, you you might need uh, the next person to do some modeling for you or yeah, absolutely. stuff like that. <laughs> I'm just going to go right ahead and put on the uh, call line because like I stated on social media, Twitter, Facebook, all of that, that yes. you'll have an opportunity to ask a cool any questions. Um, we're going to put it on there. But for now, we're going to you know, keep chatting because I, you know, I definitely want to just keep on talking about the fundraiser because I love that. <laughs> yes. I love that it people um, will come and organize mm -hmm. and also because it's like a, a show. Yeah, a show it is a show. Yeah, doing. absolutely. And are you going to have photographers involved? Yes, you photographers, have... they are like the photographers um, nice. pass is sold out. So, um, they, you know, the, the photographers, they already sold out. And then mm -hmm. um, I'm always in contact with uh, the Boston Junior League. They were supposed to come to come and help for the model to get prep and everything like mm -hmm. that so everything is you know on the way and everything is um set up you know the way we wanted it so i'm very excited about it and this is not a one time one like one time thing oh so I you're trying to, to oh, i want so to this is the this first up. you know first one and i would like to keep doing it for the next year too so and would it be a around. catwalk or would you yes okay, yeah perfect. it would be still okay. a catwalk because that's the field i am right now yeah and then that's how I can, you know, say that it's not only about being pretty on the runway or you yeah. have to walk, you have to walk on the runway. It's also we care, you know, because before, you know, I get, you know, I get, you know, hired and paid, stuff like that. I do a lot of, you know, collaboration without yeah. getting paid. Um, I mean, but, it's a, it's a, it's a two way street. You exactly, know what I'm two way like, street. Um, getting paid is great, and I feel like you need to get paid and pay for what you do. Yeah. Um, but then, uh, again, you know, how are you gonna get yourself out there? A lot of people just exactly. like, I'm a wonderful dancer. I'm a, I, I'm a phenomenal singer. I'm a model, but how are you gonna get yourself out there? Exactly. Like, how are you gonna come? And and that's why you know people like you come and people like other you know come and. Um, inspire and mentor and I think these are people in your community that you can reach out to Absolutely. And, and and collab and do stuff with yeah I, I feel that that's 100%. I'm always you know always ready for the collaboration um, with amazing I collaborate a lot with amazing photographers um nice. recently do a shoot with Stanley Desarm he's amazing too Dior being amazing how did, with, how did that how was how was that was the shoot like yeah it was so a it's shoot. usually two hours like you mentioned. yeah usually uh, we do two hours two hours to three hours shoot um, plus like the shoot usually doesn't even take two hours like it's just because the prep the makeup you do your makeup yeah and then sometimes it depends how many clothes do you have how mm -hmm. many you know like you know idea or concept do you have then mm -hmm. um, it might take more time than that of you know so um, so that's what it is like, um, I mean it's it's been amazing and I, I, I really enjoyed it and I, I'm really happy that I am where am I right mm -hmm. now and I'm I'm planning on you know push it forward and to the greater yeah of know. course I mean that's all to me I think that uh, that's everyone uh, goal and to push this forward yeah. and it's finding the way to push it forward and, and stuff like that so what what style is your favorite style? Because, like, that's what I was trying to get in between. Because I'm like, what is that cool style? Because I know your style as your movement and, mm -hmm. and your facial expressions. That you definitely, you know, that's a cool mm -hmm. shit. Only that's her signature stuff. <laughs> but, like, in terms of, like, you know, what you, what, what would you say is your favorite? Um... Okay, I draw my inspiration from Gracie Jones. Gracie so, Jones. Yeah, it's a little bit eccentric, a little bit like kind of like one of a kind mm -hmm. look. I like, um, and um, I don't know. I like everything that is fashion forward. Everything that's fashion forward. Yes, yeah. it's it's my thing, and also sometimes I. I I like to add a little bit of touch of myself, like yeah. a little bit touch of me, mm -hmm. like you know, it's that's what makes it different from. From other people, yeah, like exactly, you were <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, uh, you know, you don't want to be look like an like everyday, you know, yeah, of course not. everyday usual person. So, yeah, so that's what I like about it. So Aku, this was amazing.
Guys, like she stated, um, it's on December 4th, yes, December. Sunday at 8.30? 7.30. 7.30, sorry. And uh, the address once again? It's going to be at 561 Magraf Highway. The rest of the name is something nice. Uh, something and then nice. we'll be there. And it's Caribbean, full food, um, full dinner. And we have live music, entertainment, and a fashion show. Perfect. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in to Are You Ready to Be Exposed with your host, Kateria, a.k.a. Casey Exposed, and our guest, Mac, gorgeous guest, <laughs> uh, Aku. Thank you, Aku, for Thank coming. Thank you so much. Mm, that was great. <laughs> it was fabulous. Thank you. Thank you.